Hello? Oh, I must have fallen asleep. What time is it? Nobody wants to be stinky and be single their whole life. Emotional. Everyone wants to smell nice and look good. And also, plain folk. The woman in this advertisement seems to be fairly normal. Starting the ad just chilling on the couch. Now let's talk to a local high school student about her experiences with acts. Welcome, Josie Pillar. I'll be interviewing Dr. Leslie Winkle about the effects that Axe Body Spray has on the body. Hi. Hi. Welcome to my lab. Thank you. Hello, Leslie. Hi. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Can you tell me what the effects of Axe have on humans and animals? Well, some of the chemicals in Axe can lead to cancer, developmental and re reproductive toxicity, allergies, immune toxicity, neurotoxicity, endocrine disruption, bioaccumulation, organ system toxicity, and believe it or not, more. The Axe body spray is literally chemical soup. With the chemicals in it, most of them have not been tested for safety by the CIR, which is Cosmetic Ingredient Review, and that group to test them, they test them on animals, so the few that have been tested have been tested on animals. Wow. Wow. I never knew that before. And I bet the Axe consumers didn't know that either. Would you wear Axe now? I don't think so. But what do you personally think of Axe? Well, in my opinion, guys put on way too much of it, and it's just overwhelming. By spraying a large amount onto their skin, it may end up getting into their bloodstream, 
and seriously harming their overall well-being. With all the chemicals in it and the amount being sprayed onto themselves, the lives of those using it in excess may be at risk. Thank you for those inciting words. You're welcome. You can see why some people are against X. Now let's talk to a few people who are for X. Bruce West and Brittany Pierce. Welcome to the show, guys. I'm Bruce West. Pretty hot. And I'm Brittany Pierce, and I'm like totally popular. I get all the guys, and I like totally love wearing female X. I see. So, do you think X contributes to your social life, and as you say, it makes you popular? Like, totally. It's it on me 24-7, and like, look at me. I am mean, irresistible. I'm totally a ladies man. I contribute my success to using X. I would even recommend it to all those peasants, like not cool kids. Use it too if they want to get the ladies. Like, look at him. He is so dreamy, and I can smell him from a mile away. I know he's near, and his cool is very on me. <sighs> yeah. So, Axe allows you to be accepted in certain groups, and in some ways gains you confidence? Exactly. Uh-huh. Do you think there is such a thing as too much Axe? Uh, no. Is that even a question? There's no such thing as too much. If anything, I don't use enough Axe. If you were to spray more, I think the world would explode from his coolness. Uh, thank you for your time. No, thank you. I'm not going to go bench press like 350 pounds. So hot. I'm here at Nisville High School talking to Fernando Moon. Hello, young man. Hey guys, my name is Fernando Moon and this is like so fetch. Can you tell me a bit about the boycotting group you're a part of? Like, for sure. So each member of the group, led by Virgil, Texas, sent in a letter to the Axe CEO, Paul Pullman, saying we refuse to purchase any Axe products until they make their products and campaigns more gender and sexual orientation inclusive. So the ads they've been posting are really discriminatory to certain individuals? Yeah, it really hurts my feelings. I don't know why we all just can't treat each other as equals. Was there anything else you're boycotting? Boycott group did it? Yes, we also sent letters to stores in our area. We do men stop purchasing acts until they stop using anti-gay ads as well as we get to test the chemicals they're putting in their product for safety. Wow, it sounds like you're really trying hard for your thoughts. Thank you. Oh wait, it's my phone. It's my boyfriend, Rib. Yeah. Hey. And I'll take that as my exit. This is just one of the many boycotting groups out there that are ready to join if you believe in the cause. Companies produce products that are either needed or wanted by consumers. That is why, if a large group boycotts a product, companies may stop the production of a product. If companies think they can sell an item, they will produce it. Products that sell well will continue to be produced. However, if consumers stop buying a product, companies will stop producing them, because it is losing them revenue. Much of the items sold and the companies that are successful depend on consumers, such as you and me, to buy. Our next guests are a few environmentalists. Please help me welcome Whispering Fern and River Stone. Thanks for having us. I'm Whispering Fern, this is my friend. And River Stone. Why do you look pink? <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh, anyways, back onto the topic at hand. Can you tell us anything about what Axe does to the environment? Uh, well, can you imagine the amount of chemicals needed to make that stuff? I mean, it's produced in factories and sent out numerous bags of waste and pollutants into this world. That's just not cool. But, at least some of it can be recycled. But, let's be honest here, not very many people in this world recycle. Only 45% of the world recycles, and that's just not good enough for me. I believe we can all come together and unite as a society and bring peace and love to this world. Yeah. Well said. I hear you're also a big supporter of animal rights. Does Axe harm any animals in its making? Well, within the can itself, it's not organic, which means there's a lot, there's a high chance that it contain, contains genetically modified organisms. Also, the few chemicals that have been tested were tested on animals. Valid point. Well, it's been a pleasure having you. Peace. Bye. Oh, there's my boyfriend, Fernando. Hey, boy. Come on. Throughout this documentary, we 
have seen both the positive and negative sides of Axe. Axe promises to help you get the ladies while smelling great. However, after speaking with a number of individuals, we now know that it's not always the case. You may be let down if, it, if you don't happen to get a girlfriend or boyfriend from wearing Axe. Also, if you wear too much, it can be a health issue for you and those around you. And if you think that all the girls are going to act sexy and seductive because you're wearing Axe, well, think again, my friend. Thanks for joining me on this edition of a documentary, Analyzing Axe. What are your opin opinions about Axe? Leave a comment about your opinion for a chance to win absolutely nothing. I'll see you next time. Focus. Do what they want to use ladies. Yes. <laughs>